afternoon it is fellow bold not olders how are you and i hope you're having the most amazing and spectacular day okay what have i got on today hat i've got uh, you know and look i've still got the purple in my hair still doing the purple thing not quite as much as last time but i think i might um go back to the hairdressers and say look put it in a little bit thicker because i actually liked it thicker the last time okay hat beautiful beautiful hat that i've got on which is um i'm going to be showcasing some of these hats but this hat is from an australian company called lack of color so they're absolutely fabulous and i've been buying a few of their hats because i absolutely love 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 hats so this is one of my new additions isn't it gorgeous got all these gold you know crosses and celestial things around them which i absolutely love got this do you know i love this sort of thing i love this um i must put out to um you know people if anybody wants to buy me anything i love this you know this rubbery sort of thing got the big bracelet thing on got a big big shirt on got some purple let me get up i better show you what i've got on today so i've got a you can't really see it this is gorgeous gorgeous orange tweed like a donegal tweed and with that i've got a pair and this is um this beautiful top is fabulous. I've got a couple other pieces that go with it. And that's from Havana Boutique in Camberwell here in Melbourne. And they stock um, Banana Blue. And they also stock Rundholz. But I've got a beautiful pair of Rundholz pants on with big sort of, you know, people and things on them. And they're greens and oh, I don't know whether you can see it. If I could get my leg up here with my sore bloody knee, uh, but you can't see it on here. But look, it's got all these big patterns, and it's absolutely fabulous. And they're a green and a black. So oh, love, love, love them. And they're Rundholz, which is a German label, which I absolutely love. So I have some favourite, favourite things. But um, the top is from Havana Boutique pardon me, in Camberwell, and the shirt, well, I'm not sure where I got the shirt, um, oh, I know where I got the shirt, a friend of mine was cleaning out her wardrobe, and every now and again, when she has some fabulous, fabulous things, and when she cleans them out, um, I, um, you know, I, uh, I purchased some uh, recycled things from her, which are fabulous, and these rings that I've got on, are from not this i bought these in alaska and um on a cruise and this one on my finger here and this dear little thing here i bought from la visa la visa boutique la visa um have i think i and their earrings um i love their jewelry love 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 and um so i often buy those the glasses are purchased from um uh, oscar wiley which are the um optometrists and so these glasses and a lovely pair of tortoiseshell ones the same exactly the same because i love them both um they come from there so that's about it i've given you the rundown on the clothes today Okay, so how are you feeling? How's everything going in your world? How are you getting on with life um, during this um, sort of, we'll call it here in Australia anyway, the aftermath, so to speak, of the COVID pandemic and everything getting back to normal and people wanting to, you know, get going and get on with their life. I'm getting on with mine. I'm having an amazing and fabulous time. And this weekend I'm going to, coming up, I'm going to an amazing, amazing place um, to stay for the weekend. But you'll hear all about that and you'll see all about that because I'm going to be posting some lives on Facebook. I'm going to be doing some Instagram lives on that as well. 
and I'm going to be, um, you know, I'm going to be showcasing a whole lot of things and some clothes that um, I haven't worn before and uh, a new label that I'd sort of, you know, gotten hold of, which I like, which is an Australian label and the people are in Byron Bay here in Australia, Byron Bay. Oh, who wouldn't want to live there and do fabulous things and be a creative soul in that space? So um, I, anyway, I won't talk too much about them because I'm going to be, um, get this little thing off the screen, it's distracting me, um, and showcasing those, you know, those clothes, which will be absolutely fabulous. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's a whole different look. I'm doing this really interesting look as, as I am doing for the upcoming magazine. A little bit of shameless self-promotion here. Drop that in right now. Get that out of the way. So the magazine Empowering Boldness will be out on the 17th of the month it comes out. So that's shaping up to be something fabulous. And I'm doing a whole, you know, I'm doing a whole photo shoot, a whole fun thing for that. Um, but I won't tell you about that either because it spoils everything, doesn't it? It's like somebody saying, oh, I bought you something. Do you want to know what I bought you? No, no, no. It's a surprise. Keep it as a surprise. So I'm not one of those people I can't keep a surprise because I can and I'm going to. I'm going to keep it as a surprise and uh, you're going to find out of it find out about it when it opens up and when it you know all takes place look in the doorway you can see this lamp here well i'm going to incorporate that into my office and i'm going to be changing some things around in here over the next few days hopefully before i go away and i get time i don't know where does time go is time running out it's not running out but you know are you sort of oh, on a bit of a treadmill you know and things are you know, time is like, oh, my God, you know, where's time going? Where's time gone? I'm hearing that from people around me. So I think that uh, we need to just slow ourselves down because that's what happened during COVID, wasn't it? You know, we slowed ourselves down. We, you know, we're on this frenzy, this treadmill, all of us, all the world, the whole world. And uh, we slowed ourselves down and we slowed everything down um, with that treadmill by, you know, doing something, you know, by having to stop, by having to stop and just, um, you know, lock ourselves indoors and and, um, and within, you know, fairly confined spaces. And that had us, you know, stop and think about what we really wanted to do and what was life about. And all of that is going to dovetail into... The session today, which I'm just looking on my writing pad because I write myself notes and things. Um, look, all this is ad-libbed. I don't have a script for all this. It sounds like it, doesn't it? It's a bit runaway, you know, run, runaway rat baggy, isn't it, at times? But I just want to have fun with it. I don't want it to be too serious, um, folks. I, I don't want to get too serious about everything. I think there's enough seriousness around us. I just want to have, you know, lots of fun. And, um, yeah, I just want to have lots of fun and, and enjoy myself. And if I have to be a bit of a rat bag to do that, then, you know, if that's, that's not hurting anybody else. That's only making me look like a fool. And that's okay. I want to do that. So I've written down on the pad for today, the oh, topic for today is be selfish, very selfish. Oh, you're probably thinking, what is she on about? That's it. I thought she was all okay until now and she's lost the plot. She's now talking about us all being selfish. That doesn't sound right and it actually doesn't sound like her. Well, it is. It is. I want to tell you what I mean by be selfish, very selfish. And that's more about perception um, or it's all about perception. Because, you know, I've been to webinars. I've been on webinars and I've been to, you know, seminars over the years, many, many 
hundreds of them. And um, I have often heard over the years, and I went through this myself, I thought about it myself. Um, you know, when you, when you used to, especially women, we women, I'm going to aim at the women here, we, because we're most of us, if we haven't got children, then we've got family around us. We've got parents. We've got older people around us. Or we've got, you know, sis brothers and sisters most times with children. So we're used to sharing ourselves around and being available for others, and especially as we get older. I see so many people who have gotten a bit older who have allowed themselves to be, um, to have their time taken up with, you know, looking after children and, or, you know, helping the younger ones around them build their careers and go to work and do all sorts of things. And that's all noble and it's all wonderful sort of stuff and you can be all um, you know, you can rationalise all that and you can come up with all sorts of stories around why that's necessary or why you should be doing it or all that sort of stuff. The bottom line is no. Sorry, darlings, but the bottom line is no. No, you shouldn't be doing it because you're in the prime of your life and this is not about the time in your life when you stop everything that you're doing, give away all your goals and all your dreams, give away everything you want to do for you and you devote all of your waking hours and all of your time, um, you know, rearing your children's children, rearing your grandchildren or looking after them or spending all of your waking hours around them um, to seemingly help the parents. Now, you mightn't like this and you mightn't like what I'm saying, but, darlings, I have to tell you, I've done it. And um, it's... Uh, don't do it. Don't do it because you'll look back on it and you'll go, you know, I, maybe I could have done a bit of it, but, but I didn't have to devote my whole, you know, bloody life to it. And uh, I see a lot of people doing that. And then the withdrawal symptoms are this thing about, oh, um, oh, I'm just being selfish. And if you've got children who are a bit, pardon the pun, but a bit ugly, um, you know, they'll make sure they tell you that you're being selfish. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've seen, I've seen this, sweethearts, I've seen people get caught up in this and um, it's ugly. It's very ugly to watch um, being accused of being selfish and all that sort of thing. So what I'm saying to you, if that's how it's perceived, if that's the box that's put around it, if that's the big heading that's stamped across your forehead, that you're being selfish if you don't you know, give everybody else your precious and valuable time. And if you can't say no and all of that baggage, all that stuff, if the big label is selfish, you're being selfish, well, then I want you to be very selfish, very selfish, underlined very in big capital letters. And I'll put that on the, you know, heading for today's show. I want you to be very selfish and uh, because you have to take care of you. And I remember when I was younger, I did a, um, um, a workshop. It was a fabulous workshop. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was run by a gorgeous, gorgeous Chilean man um, that had come here from America. Um, they had a big foundation in America and he was he was actually um, quite famous in his field, this Chilean man. He worked with, um, you know, um, quite a number of quite famous people in personal development and all that sort of thing. And I don't mean the current, you know, sort of, you know, inspirational, motivational people. I mean people who are working with governments and big organisations, you know, people who have written a lot of fairly serious books around, you know, mindset and, and our 
you know, thinking and things like that, delved into it quite a lot. Um, you know, a bit of head banging stuff, but it, but I enjoy that myself. So, um, but anyway, he, his name was Julio and uh, Olala. His name was Julio Olala, and he was a gorgeous, gorgeous little Chilean man. And he came here at the um, um, bequest of um, my teacher at the time in solution-oriented hypnosis from the Milton Erickson Institute and um, where I did, um, you know, hypno a um, diploma in hypnosis and, and diploma, advanced diploma in um, counselling and I did psychotherapy. It's a bit of head banging, isn't it, sweeties? But anyway, I did all that and I love, love, loved it and I love that area of work. So, um, so I'm more than capable of, um, you know, making the comments I'm making and saying the things I'm saying. If you wonder where I get it from, it doesn't just come from experience. It comes from some good learning modalities as well. So back to the story. Early Olala came to Australia and the whole point of this visit and everything was to do a four-day workshop, which is quite long. Four days is quite long. And all only for women. It was only for women. And it was all around um, learning about ourselves and being able to say no. And I'm telling you, it was absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely fabulous. Every day there wasn't a dry eye in the place. It was just absolutely amazing and spectacular. And I learned so much from that because I was, you know, a younger woman at the time and I learned so much. It was just so fabulous. But it was fabulous to hear um, women's stories and to see them learn, you know, to say no. So I'm suggesting to you that you learn to say no. And it's not always easy. And I get it that it can be a bit heart-wrenching to say, no, I can't do that. No, I don't want to do that. No, not now. No, maybe not ever. No, for this week or no for next week no I can't do that but I can do this and stand in your own power and your own personal empowerment and you know be able to stand up for yourself and live your life because you only have one of them this is it kids and it's amazing and it's fabulous and it's spectacular. And I want you to really, really be empowered and live an amazing, fabulous life for yourself because that's what I'm all about. I'm about dressing up, having a fabulous life, living an amazing life and, um, you know, creating a fabulous life for yourself, which means that you're creating lifestyle and you're creating lots of things and it's all about you and that isn't selfish. It's not selfish because if you're happy, other people around you will be happy. If you're living a spectacular life, other people will be drawn to you. They'll want to be around you because we all want to be around spectacular people. I don't know about you, darlings, but, you know, I really, really don't like being around and I really work and try not to be around, you know, people who drain my energies and are. Uh, stick your finger down your throat um really really when you walk away from them you feel like you've been hit with a bus so i i really don't i don't i don't attract people like that normally but if i find myself in that sort of situation um i put my running shoes on darlings and i just run the other way because it just simply it's just not worth it. It takes too much from us. And, and quite frankly, as we get older, uh, we need all the bloody energies that we can get. So I want you to be selfish, very selfish. I want you to think about you. I want you to do all the things for you. I want you to dress up for you and uh, 
and on my blog, I'm bringing out a new blog. And um, I've got one, but I'm going to dismantle it all um, because things have moved on and things have changed. And I'm going to be creating something, you know, amazing with the blog. Lots of offers, lots of fabulous things. And that's going to be fabulous. And that's coming very, very soon. Another little bit of shameless self-promotion there. And the soiree is coming up on the 16th, I think, of the month, if that's the Sunday night, then that's when the um, soiree is coming up. And you can go on to boldnotold.com.au and you can register for that and you can put your name down and come on to that for free. Bring your glass of wine with you or your martini or your G&T or whatever it is, bubbly glass of water. I don't care. Put it in a wine glass, sweetie, so it looks great. And, uh, you know, come on to that. Um, don't bring on your bottle of water, love. Um, put it in, you know, put it in something that looks fabulous. You know, put it in a tall pills in a glass where it's all bubbly put a bit of lemon in it, live it up, make, make it something, don't, don't, make, make things fabulous, make your life fabulous, um, don't, don't be ordinary, don't live ordinary, you don't have to, you can be spectacular, and you are, you can't spectacular, you just might have lost your way a bit along the way, hands up, we've all done that, I did that too, sweeties, I've done that, been there, been, uh, yeah, been there. Maybe I've never been really, really ordinary, um, but you know, I've I've let the you know I've let myself down at times, like we all have. So uh, you know, we've got to work on that. Thank you. I'm going to leave you with: be fabulous, be spectacular, be amazing, be what you came with, be who you are, and I'll see you next week on um, Wednesdays with Wallace and we'll have another chat and we'll have another fabulous time. Leaving you with, be selfish, very selfish, will you? Thank you. Bye for now.